Hello everyone! In this video I will show you how to create a set of animations for your character. They will be idle, run and jump animations. Also we will create transitions between them and I will show you how to control them with simple c -sharp script. Let's create this project from the scratch so you could follow the steps and see how it's done. Here in art folder I have a set of character sprites which represent idle, jump and run states. Also here I have a sprite sheet with some environment. You can get all of these art assets by the link in the description. Ok, I want to use grass image from this set. Now it's one solid picture, so to take a grass image from it I need to slice it. So with this sprite sheet selected I set sprite mode to multiple. Also as our sprite sheet is kind of pixel art I set its filter mode to point no filter so images will not look blurred. Hit apply to save the changes. Now I can slice it. Go to sprite editor and click slice drop down. Here automatic type will be ok, so I can hit slice button. It's hard to see here, but now each image has its own white boundary that separates one image from another. Each sprite can be renamed. I select my grass sprite and rename it as ground, so I could easily find it in the inspector. To save all of the changes I must hit apply. Now as you can see I have each sprite from sprite sheet separated from another. And here is my ground sprite. I put it into the scene. It will be a ground. To make this ground act as a ground, let's add a box collider to it. And edit it a bit like so. Now our character will be able to walk on it. Let's add a character. Take one of the sprite from idle state and drag and drop it into the scene. Rename this new game object as a character. Now let's set character's order and layer option to 5, so it will be rendered in front of the ground. Also our character will need a box collider to the component to walk on the ground. Add one and edit it so it appears at fit level. Also the character is going to need a rigid body to the component, so we can move it with the C -sharp script. I add one and set gravity scale to 3, so character will be falling down faster. Also I set collision detection to continuous for more accurate detection. And I freeze the rotation, so my character will not tilt left or right when moving. Now it's time to create some animations for our character. Select character, open animation window and click create new animation. I create a new folder for those animations. Open this folder up and save this new animation as idle animation. Now as it's idle animation I select sprites from idle state and drag and drop them into idle animation timeline. Now if I hit play then you can see this idle animation running. To slow it down let's set number of samples to 5. Hit enter to save the change. Hit play. There we go. Idle animation is done. Let's create new animation clip which will be run animation. Here it is. Now I select all of the sprites from run state and drag and drop them into timeline. Here is our run animation which is quite too fast. Let's slow it down. 10 samples per second should be fine. Ok, now let's create new animation clip which will be jump up animation. It will be playing when our character goes up in the air. Select one jump up sprite from jump state and drag and drop it into timeline. As here is only one frame so let's set number of samples to 1. Here is jump up animation. Create new animation clip. Save it as jump down animation. Drag and drop jump full sprite into timeline. Number of samples will be 1 as well. Here is our jump down animation. Ok. Now to be able to control these animations with the script we must set transitions between them and declare some conditions. Make sure the character is selected and open up animator window. If you don't have this or any of the other windows then you can find it in window menu section. Here are our animations. I rearrange them a bit. Ok, first of all we need to create some parameters which we will refer in the script. They will be three boolean parameters. First one will be is running, second one will be is jumping and third one will be is falling. Letter casing is important. Make sure these parameters are spelled the same way in animator and in the script, otherwise transitions will not work. Now let's create transitions between these animations. Right click on idle and make transition to run animation. Left click this white arrow and here in condition section create new condition so this transition takes place when is running is true. Also I uncheck has exit time option so run animation will not switch back to idle automatically when run animation is over. And I set transition duration to 0 so idle will switch to run immediately. Next transition will be from run to idle state. Select this transition, condition will be when is running is false. Uncheck has exit time and set transition duration to 0. Next transition will be from idle to jump up state. Select it, condition will be when is jumping is true. No exit time 
Transition duration is zero. Next transition is from jump up to jump down state. Condition will be when is falling is true. I will set has exit time and durations later on. Next transition is from jump down to run. It will take place when is falling is false. Next one is from idle to jump down. Which will occur when is falling is true. Next transition is from jump down to idle, which will take place when is falling is false. Next one is from run to jump up state with a condition when is jumping is true. Looks like we are done with conditions. Now I make sure that all of the transitions have exit time option unchecked and transition duration set to zero. Here we go. Now to move our character and to control those transitions, we use the script which I named character. Let's take a look at it. First we have rigid body and animator references to control character's movement and animation's transitions. Then here are move speed and direction x variables that help to move a character. Facing right and local scale variables help to flip character sprite so it faces towards it goes. In start method we get those rigid body and animator components, set local scale variable as current transform local scale and set move speed to 5. In update method we pass a value to direction x variable depending on left or right arrow button is pressed multiplied by move speed so the character should move left or right here. Then we check if jump button is pressed and if it is and our character is not going up or down already then we can perform jump by passing a force to rigid body in up direction multiplied by some value equals to 700 in our case. Next several if statements are responsible for animation's transitions. First one. If direction x absolute value is greater than zero so character moves left or right and if it not in the air then we set is running parameter in animator to true and animation is switched to run state else if our character is standing still then is running is set to false and idle animation should run next if statement if rigid body's vertical velocity equals to zero which means that our character is not going up or down then is jumping and is falling is set to false and animation is switched to running or to idle state depending on if character is running or not next if statement if rigid body vertical velocity is greater than zero which means that character goes up then is jumping is set to true and animation is switched to jump up state and if vertical velocity is less than zero which means that character falls down then is jumping is set to false is falling is set to true and animation is switched to jump down state that's all about transitions in fixed update we just pass a velocity to rigid body depending on direction x value in late update method we flip a character depending on where it goes at the moment and where it currently is phase 2 that's the script drag and drop the script to our character that's it. Now we can hit play and see how it works. Our character can run, jump and idle. Hope this tutorial was useful for you. Thank you for watching. See you next time.